a view from the top. St. Petersburg Mayor Rick Kreisman says he's pushed the last 12 months of his plans through a life-changing barrier. Does this feel natural now? I mean, honestly, no. I, I, don't, I don't know that wearing a mask is something that will ever feel natural. He's done a lot in his eight years as mayor, pushing for the St. Pete Pier. We're going to have a pier. We are going to build a pier. And that he did. The St. Pete Pier was recently voted the number two best new attraction in the nation for 2020. An opening that happened much differently due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The mayor says the pandemic exposed the city's weaknesses as much as it did strengths, saying that there's still racism out there, but more people are willing to talk about it, to change it. Trying to create equity and equality. The root, he believes, of his city's success. When I came in this, into office, the city didn't have a vision statement of who and what we wanted to be. He wanted to build a community that embraced people. We're not there yet. And their experiences. Your race shouldn't matter, your gender shouldn't matter, your religion shouldn't matter, your orientation, who you love, your economic status, none of that should matter. Greisman recently gave his final State of the City address, citing the city's 2050 plan as a sign of the city's commitment to equality. This era of progressivism and participation and inclusion in St. Pete has helped to shape and elevate our city and our people. But he knows not everyone feels that way. Mayor, how do we reach the people, though, who don't want to be touched? That's a great question. Um, I mean, the reality is there's, a, there's always going to be a segment that there's nothing you can say, there's nothing you can do that will unfortunately change their minds. Nearing the end of his second and final term, Kreisman says his title still surprises him. I still sometimes when I see Mayor Rick Kreisman, it still blows me away a little bit. In his two decades as an elected leader, experience has never shown him a craving, like right now, for healing. I don't think any of us in our uh, in our uh, wildest imagination would have ever dreamed that we would live through a pandemic like this. Um, you know, and I think we're going to feel the impacts economically, emotionally. Uh, I think it's it's going to impact us for years. He says none of this just happened. I think psychologically, emotionally, physically, um, it's going to we're going to it's going to be years. Uh, before we're completely beyond it, you know, and I worry about our kids uh, and their education and how this is impacting them. Because many times curriculum gave way to teachers, parents and students doing the best they could. That includes him. You know, maybe I could have been a little more sensitive sometimes, um, but um, I'm, I'm, I look back at this experience and, and I'm going to feel good when I leave office about uh, the job I did. Work that demands hope. I certainly look forward to the day when we can take these things off. During exhausting times. I think this has been the greatest gift I've ever been given.